Hey everybody, it's Bob from Mountain Crest Farm. Oh me, I'm gonna call this coffee chat. It's about 9.30 at night, but I do have a cup of coffee, so it must be a coffee chat. Now, for those of you who also watch another channel that I watch, um, Nona Grace, See the coffee mug? Always sitting behind her on the counter in the kitchen where she does her chats. I like that coffee mug so much I drove all the way to New York, stole her coffee mug, and brought it back to Georgia. That's what it looks like anyway. What I can tell you is I know where Nona Grace buys her um coffee mug and other dishes from. She is a Walmart shopper just like I am. That's where those coffee mugs come from. <laughs> First time I saw it in one of her videos, I like to have died laughing. Anyway, little story before I get started about the coffee in this coffee mug. I know that was twice, Mary Grace. Probably gonna hear it again for this video is over. I normally drink my coffee black, and you normally see me drinking my coffee in this black. And there's actually a reason that I'm using this other coffee mug with my coffee tonight, and I'm using this other coffee mug because my daughter, who is Laying right over there listening to me is trying to kill me. I've been drinking my coffee black for years. I used to drink it black when I was a little kid with my dad. He got up in the morning before he went to the base and uh, had coffee black. So I had to have coffee black like my dad. And when I hit my teenage years, I started putting sugar and cream in it. And oh, did I put sugar in it. Um, it was, you know, a little bit of coffee with my sugar and cream. And then I got to where I just used cream and honey, trying to cut back on the sugar. And then a few years back, I went to black coffee. Now, about 10 years ago, I got hooked on something. I got hooked on, what's the brand name on that stuff? Sarah, what's the brand name on that coffee creamer? Coffee Mate, isn't it? Yeah. It's liquid coffee, mate, is what it is. But it, it, it's not just plain old like the flour, like the powdered stuff is. It's uh, they got flavors. And about oh god, 2007, 2008, 2009, somewhere in there, I got hooked on it. Now my favorite flavor was Irish cream. I guess being a recovering alcoholic, we all know why I like Irish cream flavor. But my daughter brought home the other day some that was French vanilla. It's loaded with sugar. I have gotten away from any sugar in my coffee. Well, this morning she said, Hey, Bob, do you want a sip of my coffee? It's got the French vanilla in it. I said, sure I do. Well, just like the booze, one sip and all of a sudden I got to have it again. So, this is not black coffee. This is coffee with Irish cream, excuse me, with French vanilla flavor in it. That's why it's in that mug. Because when I use this one for black coffee, sometimes I'll go two or three days just coffee every morning. Black coffee doesn't leave any real residue. I'm using that mug because I wouldn't use it again without washing it. So that's why I've got none of Grace's mug is so I can put French vanilla in my coffee. Sugar loaded French vanilla. You know, me being a diabetic and I'm drinking that sugar loaded stuff. That's why I say my daughter over there is trying to kill me. But anyway, 
That has absolutely nothing to do with the topic of this video. This video is kind of a, not a payback. It's kind of a, what are you going to say now, folks, video. Now, a lot of my viewers are either homesteaders or preppers or a combination of homesteaders and preppers or people who actually don't call themselves homesteaders and don't call themselves preppers, but tend to be self-sufficient types of people. Mary Grace, known a Grace Channel. She comes to mind. She wouldn't call herself a homesteader or a prepper. But she is not a prepper, but she's a homesteader. She can't be a prepper because, just like I can't be a prepper, I'd bet neither one of, I know I don't, and I'll bet she doesn't own a bit of camouflage. And she probably doesn't walk around with a gun either. <laughs> but uh, people laugh at us, you know, getting ready for Armageddon. And uh, y'all think it's going to be the end of the world. And, total economic collapse and all that sort of thing and you know buying lots of ammunition and lots of guns all around the house and all that sort of thing and they laugh at us and I have a question for them who's laughing now you people who do not believe in self-sufficiency you people who think anytime you want something, you can just run down to the store and buy it and laugh at us because we stock stuff up. Who's laughing now? You can't get your hands on a roll of toilet paper. You can't find a paper towel. You want some Clorox, ble Clorox bleach? Well, good luck. But you know what? The homesteader types, the prepper types. We didn't run the stores out of toilet paper. And we didn't run the stores out of eggs and butter and paper towels and Clorox and all that sort of thing, hand sanitizer. You know why we didn't run it out? Because if it's an item that we think we might need, a necessary item in the house, and even though the world went hundreds of thousands of years without toilet paper, it's only been around since about 1953, I still consider toilet paper a necessity these days because there's not a Sears catalog handy. We didn't run the stores out of that stuff because we already had it on hand, because we were prepared, you know, the core word of prepper, prepare. We didn't have to go buy up every sheet of toilet paper at Walmart. We already had some. Now, we didn't have hand sanitizer, or most of us didn't. The homesteader, pre homesteader prepper types don't need hand sanitizer. We know that vinegar is just as good as sanitizer. And yeah, vinegar will kill the coronavirus uh, germ virus, whatever. But y'all are out there scrambling. You people who have been laughing at us are out there scrambling, trying to come up with bare basic necessities because you went to the store twice a week and picked up a little bit of it. And then you were out and then you went, stopped and picked up some more. But the prepper types the homesteader types, the people who believe in self-sufficiency, the people y'all have been laughing at, well, like I said, who's laughing now? And don't get mad at us, because like I say, we didn't run the play stores out of all that stuff. We've had some. We've been ready for a rainy day. I don't. I consider myself to be a lousy homesteader. I don't have a piece of livestock on the property. I did, but I don't now. Don't own a chicken, don't own any pigs. Now I do have some cows over at my father-in-law's place 25 miles away. But uh, don't have a market garden. Uh, we usually grow some stuff, but 
with my cancer. We didn't grow a thing last year, and this year's not looking good either. So we have to buy most of all that we have, except for we did kill a pig back in November and put it in the freezer, and we did kill a cow back in December and put it in the freezer. So we've got plenty of protein there, but most everything else that we rely on, we've had to buy. We didn't make it or grow it or anything like that. But we got it ahead of time. I would be willing to bet you, and we aren't even trying to be prepared. I consider being prepared having six months to a year's worth of stuff on hand where you could not leave your property for a year and be okay. Not be in luxury, not have what you're used to having, but be okay. I think you need a year's worth of stuff. Well, I'm a lousy homesteader because we don't have a year's worth of stuff. But I'll tell you what, we could go two months and never leave this property. We've got enough proteins on hand. We've got enough fiber on hand. We've got enough food on hand and decent food. I'm not talking about junk. Everybody in the house may not like everything we've got, but when you get past what kind of food you like and get back, get back to providing nutrition, we could go two months without ever leaving this property, including on toilet paper. We're lousy homesteaders. We can only go two months. And you know what? The stuff we've got, we didn't go run the stores out of a darn thing. So, back to my basic question. You folks who laugh at homesteaders, who laugh at preppers, who don't believe in self-sufficiency, and who think we are nut jobs, back to my basic question. Who's laughing now? I say we are. And I say you can't find any toilet paper. So, that's about it for today, folks kind of short. I'm not sure how long it is. My little clock on my screen's not working. So I'm not sure exactly how long I've been talking, but uh, I don't shoot for a certain time anyway. But that's about it for today. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. If you don't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Tell me why. And if this makes you intrigued about the channel, Hit that subscribe button down there. It's mostly about homesteading. Yeah, here lately, it seems like it's all coronavirus all the time, but it's not. But uh, it's mainly a homesteading channel. You might find some interesting things on there. Hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell so you'll get notifications. And uh, y'all have a great day. Have a fantastic day. Today's Monday, so make that have a fantastic week. And you might as well throw the month in, too. Have a great month. And remember, it's really, really, really simple to do. All you have to do is remember two little things. Number one, remember, the tomb was empty. And number two, it was empty because he is alive. Now, I will see y'all in the next video, okay?